Hey guys, it's Tina and welcome back to my channel. It's Friday, I'm heading to the beach as per usual. But before that, I just wanted to sit down and film this video quickly for you guys. And today I'm going to recreate yet another old video of mine. And this time is going to be the video where I show you how to prevent your ponytail from sliding down or from sagging. And um, that video that I've had is pretty old, I think it's like two years old now, and um, it's a little bit low in quality, so um, I just wanted to update it for you guys, for those of you who are new to my channel and that maybe haven't had a chance to see it. So I just wanted to update it a little bit and create a shorter, sweeter video, but um, I'm going to try to keep it short and sweet, but who am I kidding, I'm probably going to ramble a lot. So in today's video I'm going to show you how to make your ponytail stay in place, prevent it from sagging and just stay up like that all day long. So without any further ado, if you have thick, heavy hair and you want to see how to prevent your ponytail from sagging, then just keep on watching. So for that you'll need two hair ties. I just wanted to mention this, I already spoke about this on my channel but I just wanted to mention it again. These are the Gumi hair ties. These are really good because they um, really hold a grip on your hair. So they really hold your ponytail up high and they won't slip or, slip or slide but also they won't leave a mark on your hair and it won't make your head hurt or anything like that. And also is not um, like breaking your hair so it won't pull out your hair and it's really hard to like um, almost impossible to break it apart they also have these ones which are the smaller ones these are the sports gumi um, they're a little bit smaller so they're good for sports they really hold your hair especially if you have thick long heavy hair these are really good but for the sake of today's video because I realize not everybody has these and also just to show you that you can actually use any regular um, hair tie for this and it will work. I'm just going to use two regular hair ties like that. But before that, can we please talk about my shirt? Who's ready for GOT7? That's true. Jason Momoa, if you're watching this, which you probably won't, but if you ever watch this, hi, I'm Tina. I've cut this shirt really awful because I didn't have good scissors, but um, I'm gonna fix it. For now, we're just gonna bear with it. Okay, so this technique is something that I have came up with a, a few years ago. I don't know if it's something that's like out there that people actually use, but I kinda came up with it myself. I haven't seen it anywhere or something like that. Um, I have really long, thick and heavy hair. I've always had it like that. Even if it, when it was shorter, I have like a lot of hair. And it's really heavy, especially if I don't like this one is is straightened now but if I just go out of the shower and I just blow dry my hair it's like large and poofy so I have a lot of hair and I just thought that my ponytail first of all is always sagging and it ends up right here even if I do it right here it ends up right here after like a half an hour so I thought it would be cool if I could hook my ponytail onto something that's higher like just kind of rub it on top of something and then I thought what if I would hook it onto another ponytail that's higher because what's making your ponytail sag is when you lose grip and then this hair just kind of pulls down and then it goes down like that but if you have a ponytail right here and then another one that hooks onto it it can't really pull it that much down because this one is a separate ponytail I don't know if that makes sense but it works so just bear with me so what you're gonna want to do is first take um, a hairband and you can use if you have one that's a little bit looser and one that's a little bit tighter you want to take the loose one first and just grab your hair from um, above your ears on an angle like that upwards and collect this upper section into a ponytail so now you can use a comb but I'm not going to I like the messy look kind of and you want to pull your hair back and put your ponytail just collect it into a ponytail where you want the height of your ponytail to be so let's see let's say for me it's right up there so I'm just going to collect it so once we have this um, ponytail right up here <laughs> that's a cute hairstyle so once we have that you want to take it to the front just so it won't interrupt you and take the hairband that's a little bit tighter and do another ponytail like that and then you collect 
um, this remaining hair into a ponytail right under this upper ponytail. So try to just collect it upwards like that. Again, you can use a comb at that point and just kind of collect it towards this ponytail and try and make it as close as possible to the upper ponytail. Now, once you tied it like twice, go around it twice, you're gonna do the third loop of like the hair tie and instead of going right around the ponytail again, you're going to collect the upper ponytail with it. So you can see I'm doing like that and then I'm taking it after I twisted it, I'm going to just collect and apply, just put the upper ponytail into that loop, that final loop of the bottom ponytail. So like that. Then it looks a little thick like that, but you can kind of play with it and kind of merge it together. And that is it! That way your ponytail stays up because even if um, the thickness and the heaviness of your hair is going to pull it downwards, it's not going to be able to go down too much because this ponytail is a separate ponytail and you can't go too much down because it just the hair ends right here. And just try it, you will see that it actually works. So you will actually feel how tight it is. I feel my ponytail really tight right now. So um, yeah, this is the final result. So it turned out to be pretty short, this video, I think, short and sweet. I managed to keep it short and sweet. I really hope you enjoyed it, guys, and that you find it helpful. Let me know in the comments below if you did. Please give this video a thumbs up on the way out. It would really help. I would really appreciate it. Of course, subscribe if you haven't already. If you are subscribed, don't forget to click that little bell button near the subscribe button to be notified every time I upload a video, which is twice a week, Tuesdays and Saturdays, and I'm going to talk to you all on Tuesday. Bye.